Spring Bolt Day 11, boys. It's freaking ab and grip day, and you guys might be wondering, why do I have all this crap on my head? You know, man, I don't know. I just like listening to music or some kind of Tom Platt's motivation or, you know, whatever. And then I got the mic and the Supreme headband. Come on, man. Anyway, boys, hold on. We got to get some, like, Machiavelli motivation on in the background with Tom Platt's in it. Because here's the thing, guys. There is a long-standing motivator in my life. And that is freaking Tom Platt's. Like, if I don't actually have a reason to do what I'm doing, I just look up Tom Platt's, you know? And then that'll just motivate the crap out of me. I mean, especially, like, yes, leg day, he'll motivate you. Probably more than any other day. But, dude, I mean, he'll motivate you in other areas of life, too. I mean, he just... He just says some good stuff. And I mean, here's the thing. You look back at some of his older videos, man. And he's He's been freaking consistent over the years, you know? He never, like, you know, flip-flops. He says the same stuff, like, 30, 40 years ago that he does today. So, I mean, anyway. Boys, we freaking got it on. And here's what we're going to do. I got the 35-pound plate on my freaking bed. And guys, hold on. It's a nice-looking plate. You see barbell, 35 pounds, 15 0.9 kilos they can't just round to 16 and it's standard as well whatever that means and um that beat up enough we need to get some more damage on that plate and then we got my buddy gifted this to me a while ago and i haven't been using them lately i haven't been faithful to the grind low guest hand grippers there's actually a link in my bio if you want them i have an amazon link for them and here's the thing this is what we're gonna do we're gonna warm up on the hundred first then we're gonna go up to, well, we can't do 300, but I mean, in this series, I guess this once a week type of deal, we're going to just eventually work up to 300. The most I've ever closed was the 250, and boys, I've heard that it is the equivalent of the 2.5 Captains of Crush, for those who are curious, and uh, you know, that's pretty good. I was super hyper for a long freaking time in training for that, so anyway, last time we did this type of video, I took all my measurements. I do not need to take them because I highly doubt that they change, but it might be worth it at some point, maybe in a month. I think I should take my freaking measurements once a month, boys. Anyway, we're setting up the tripod. This is the thing I bring to the gym. Technically not a tripod. It's actually a monopod. But, uh, you know, here's the thing, guys. If you're trying to record in the gym, get something real like small like this. This doesn't take up a lot of, you know, gym bandwidth, a.k.a. precious surface area so people don't have a reason to like shove you over and like push you out of the way or like you know the gym karens won't yell at you that much simply because you're not taking up that much room you're not getting in anybody's way you know what i'm saying um oh wow that's a lot of freaking nip there all right let's freaking screw this in and the camera now we got a whole view of our training quarters, aka the freaking dungeon, aka the the Max Sharky room. All right, we got Tom Platt playing in the background, and uh, you know, if it wasn't for copyright, dude, I'd be freaking blasting some music. Hold on, I gotta switch the song real quick. I am a real American. Fight for the rights of every man. All right, boys. Let's go. Okay. Now, here's the thing, guys. With the plate, there's no re-rack in sight other than my legs. It's not a big deal. I could just freaking put it on my legs, pick it up, take a step, get off. So that's the plan. I hope I don't hit this somehow. Let me move the bench a little bit just to be just to be extra safe. And I'm going to change the angle per set. So last week, I think I got like six quality reps. And, you know, abs are a freaking baby muscle on me. Right? I'll, I'll fully admit, abs are a relatively untrained muscle on me. So I want to get a solid set of like 10 to 12. That's the type of progressive overload I'm expecting. Um... But wait, yeah, all right, so let's go down, we'll do a feeler rep as a warm-up, all right, groove ourselves in here, and then I'm not going to extend my spine off-rip, 
because then there's no actual range of motion with my eyes. It's all hip flexors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to freaking curl up my spine to begin with and then actually go through spinal extension, <coughs> extension as the range of motion goes on. Boys, I'm immune to voice cracks. All right. And then we go up. Just. All right. That was one decent feeler rep. Um, boys, the pants are falling down. Some residual effects of the cut. All right. Now, on the bulk. Oh, crap. We got a freaking Lego ad. On the bulk, guys. The goal is to stay as lean as possible during this process. I've heard a lot of guys having fat goals on the bulk like oh yeah man i want to get love handles or another famous one is yeah i want my veins to go away bro why do you want your veins to go away i if i get fat i at least want to have veins still you know so i don't have any goals like that your goal should be to stay as lean as you freaking can because you want to be putting on lean mass who wants to get fat now listen if you're a if you're like a fatty power lifter and that's your jam freaking you know put on some fat Get a 600 pound bench, you know what I'm saying? And, but, but, dude, if you're just a normal guy looking to, you know, look good on the beach, there's no reason to become like a super fatty, you know what I'm saying? Stay lean on the bulk, or relatively lean, like don't, don't try to keep a six pack. Stay relatively lean, you know? You should have some semblance of an arm vein, or if you don't genetically have very good veins in your arms, have veins somewhere else that you're genetically blessed with. Because everybody has veins somewhere that they have a strong point in, right? Like I've talked to some guys, you don't have a bicep vein, but they get a shoulder vein, you know? Or they don't have a shoulder vein, but they have a pec vein, you know? So anyway. The form was so much better than last week. I don't know if you saw that, but I had some forehead to plate action. Okay, that's what we're looking for. All right, boys. Here's the thing. We got an even better angle going here. All right, I got Tom Blatt's motivating me. I got some solid, solid jams in my ear right now. And guys, I don't even know what to say. I mean, here's the thing. On the bulk, I want my abs to become bulbous to the point where, like Eddie Hall, you know, at 400 plus pounds, that guy's still got abs peeking out. I want to be freaking, you know, 200 with abs poking out to the point where, you know, people can't, they don't even know why I kind of just look like a dad, you know? Because that's the thing, when women want a dad bod, they don't actually want a dad bod, they want the Eddie Hall bod, you know what I mean? They want a guy who's like 380 plus with a six pack, okay? But he still looks fat and you don't really know why because he has a six pack. But, you know, it's kind of like this circular, weird thing that they think about. They don't even know. You know, oh, boy, Tom Platz is what in my ear. What results? <sighs> 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 Oh, yeah. Tom Blatt, what are you grocery shopping there for, bud? This guy's cutting up tomatoes in a motivational video. Why are you cutting up tomatoes in a motivational video? Look at he's pouring tea. Just, 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 just. 
Just Yeah, Dorian Yates, we'll let it play, okay? We got to put this 35-pound uh, plate away. I'm thinking, boys, next week we're going to go for the same strict form and go for, like, eight. I think we can get eight. Same strict form next week. Progressive overload, con continual improvement, okay? Constant improvement. Hello, Dorian Yates. And I hear Tom Platz in my ear right now. I hear all the greats right now, okay? And boys, the next thing we're doing is the freaking grippler. All right, let's crack open the hundred. You guys can see it's the hundred. All right, look at that. All right, you can probably see from here it's a hundred. Oh, hold on. Easy. All right, boys, we're not going to do even, we're not even going to do the freaking 150 or anything. We're not going to warm up for every single grip master that I've ever seen or follow. They always say the same freaking thing. They say, dude, you're not, you know, you're not going to benefit if you warm up on this stuff. You need to just go right into the real weight. So I low-key just forgot about that. But anyway, you guys see, evidently we got 250 here. All right, let's show the other side too so, you know, I'm not lying or editing or something. All right. Well, let's position it. All right. We didn't get it. We didn't get it. I couldn't get it. We freaking got it, boys. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Boys, I knew we had to get that at some point, okay? We're closing that up. Yeah! Yeah! I think it's because Dorian was on, man. I think it's because Dorian was doing some heavy freaking single arm rows in a controlled manner. All right? Anyway, guys, this video has gone on for a while at this point. I have to rest, recover, recuperate. All we're going to do, we're not, this, the, goal, the goal for today isn't hypertrophy of the forearms, okay? I, the hypertrophy of the forearms is going to come from our pull day right we're just trying to work on grip strength because we can right if i if i could add it in why not it's not going to hurt anything it's not like that's going to fatigue me for chest day or anything because that's in a few days from now anyway so that was an overall productive session boys um definitely glad i closed the 250 on the right i gotta close it on the left though we're, we'll work on that and uh yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow